Hi there, Amy Star Allen here. And in today's video, I just want to show you a couple really cool things that you can use the Facebook Audience Insights tool for to find out where your target audience is hanging out on Facebook. So I'm going to show you how you can find find them and then I'll give you a couple of ideas for what you can use this information for. If you come to, I'm going to, I'll post the link below this video, but if you just go to facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash audience hyphen insights, it'll take you to this page. And if you have more than one ad account, you would want to select it in this, this drop down menu. And then what you're going to do is you're going to, um, put your target audience information in over here, just like you would if you were running a Facebook ad. You don't have to run an ad to use this tool, by the way. I'll just go through here and select the information for my target audience. My target audience is in the United States primarily, so I'm just gonna leave that. But if you wanna add additional countries, you can put additional countries in here. And then age and gender, I'm gonna say 25 and 56 men and women, so all. But if you want to select either men or women, if you have your target audience is specific to one or the other, you can select one or the other. And then for interests, this is where you can put in, you know, if you were running a Facebook ad, you might have specific audiences that you typically target based on what their interests are. So for example, if you're in the network marketing industry, maybe you target Eric Worre's audience or if you have, you know, some type of a coaching business, maybe you target Marie Forleo, you know, so this is where you would put in the interests of the places that you already know that your target audience is hanging out. And once we do this, I'm going to be able to show you how you can find out other places that they're hanging out that you might not have even thought of yet. Okay, so let me give you an example. You know, you can, you can select stuff based on these categories as well, but I'm just going to put in somebody that I know that people in my target audience follow. So I'm putting in Amy Porterfield. And, you know, you can put in more than one interest here. You can put in whatever, however many that you want for your specific audience. But I'm just going to use one for now just to show you. And then you can get as specific as you want with this. You know, if you want to put in their relationship status or you know, any of this other stuff, you can put all that in here too, if you want. For now, I'm not even going to do all that. I'm just going to say like, I want to find out where the people in my target audience hang out. So all I'm doing is putting in an interest here that I know that they have to get some ideas about some other places where they hang out. And you'll see as you put stuff in over here, this stuff is going to be changing to show you, you know, some information based on what you have in over here, based on men and women between the ages of 25 and 56 that live in the United States and like Amy Porterfield. But if I come over here to page likes, this is demographics. If I click on page likes, now it's going to show me some different things that these people also were other places where they hang out like Meet Edgar, Melody, Melanie Duncan, Mari Smith. Okay, so so Mari Smith is a is a big Facebook mentor, right? Icon. So her page, you know, if I didn't realize that I could use her to target, now I know based on people that follow Amy Porterfield also follow her. So you can see some of these other things. Social Media Examiner. This is another page that's probably a really good place for me to find my target audience, right? So what's really cool about this, and you know, you can see all these other places, and this is going to be the case, and you can look down here and kind of see how big the audiences are for each of these pages. Here's a bunch of other suggested pages, Marie Forleo, Mari Smith, Allie, Allie Brown, Melanie Duncan, Smart Passive Income with Pat Flynn, Jenna Kutcher. So do you see like all of these are recommended based on people that follow Amy Porterfield, and it shows the size of the audience and everything, which is really, really cool. So now that you know where your audience is hanging out, this has given you some, some more ideas about where they're hanging out. Well, what, what do you do with this information? There's a lot of things you can do with this information, but for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna tell you a couple. Number one is when you're running Facebook ads, this will give you some ideas of different audiences that you can target. 
that you might not already have tried targeting. You now know that your target audience is hanging out. So maybe in your ads before, you were already targeting Amy Porterfield, but you didn't even think to target James Wedmore or Marie Forleo or Mari Smith or you know any of these other places, right? So you can use this information to run your Facebook ads, which will be super helpful. And then the other thing you can do with it is you can go to these pages and you can interact with the people on those pages. That's something that you like to do on Facebook. If you like to start up conversations with people in your target audience, you can go to these pages. You can, you know, if, if somebody's asking a question, you can answer their question and start a dialogue because you know if they're hanging out on that page, chances are there's somebody in your target audience. I would recommend always interacting as your Facebook page instead of your profile because that's going to give your page more exposure on Facebook. So let me just show you real quick how to do that. So you can choose from any of these or any of these, whatever you prefer, and just go, you know, over to these, these pages to, you know, find some other people in your audience. So for example, if I wanted to go over to the social media examiner page, I could come over here and I could look at you know, some of the, the comments to find some people that are in my target audience. And like sh this, you can, if you hover over somebody's profile, it'll show you like she's a Facebook groups and organic engagement and growth specialist, right? So she helps people build businesses online. She's in my target audience, right? Because I help people through different tools and stuff that I can recommend that for people that are building businesses online, right? So maybe I want to start up a conversation with her or, you know, you can look at the comments and you can just reply to the comments or you can go over to the person's profile and send them a message. If you're leaving a comment on somebody's page, you always want to make sure that you select if you have a business page on Facebook. So you can see here, if I was to leave a comment, I'd be commenting as myself, as my profile. But if I click on this, now I'm commenting as my page, my business page. So what that does is when I leave a comment, if someone was to to click on my face to check me out, they're going to come over to my page, not my profile. And that's what I want because I want, you know, your your Facebook page should, should serve kind of as a billboard for your business and it should have a lot of really valuable stuff on it. So I want people to come over there and learn more about me there rather than going to my profile. You know, that's fine too, but I prefer people to go to my business page because I want to build my business page. So anytime you're leaving a comment on any of these pages, make sure that you um, select your business page from this drop down menu rather than leaving it as your profile. So you can come through, you can leave comments on these pages and you can comment on other people's comments. And you can like hit this one has 102 comments, right? So if you were to go through, you know, you might see some comments that you can reply, leave a valuable reply to and start up a conversation with some of these people. Because if they're hanging out, you know, on, on these pages that are recommended in the insights tool, then chances are they're in your target audience. So these are some people that are good to start up conversations with. And again, if you are someone that's running Facebook ads, then you can just use, you know, these different audiences that are recommended here. You can see all the stats on these down here. You can use these as other audiences to target in your ads. So this is super simple, you know, something that you can implement right away. So I hope this has been helpful. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know if this is helpful, if you have any questions, and also make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video.